I am with Christophe Wittig. Yes, uh, hello. So, good afternoon. Can you please introduce yourself and introduce uh, DB4 Objects, the company? Yes, sure. Thank you for the opportunity. My name is Christoph Wittig. I'm the CEO of DB4 Objects, the company that sponsors the open source object database DB4O, which is a native Java and .NET database, which helps developers to persist Java and .NET objects with a single line of code. The object database is open source under the GPL and under commercial license. And all this um, is brought to you by db for objects the company that is headquartered in San Mateo, California, Silicon Valley, um, with a distributed team all around the world, here in France and in other parts of the world as well. Great. So how many people are working on the project? 15,000 because every user works on the project with the project. We are a collaborative way, uh, we work in a collaborative way with our users and everybody who uses the software contributes some part to the success of DB4All. Currently we have 15,000 registered users, probably many more that are not registered and they help in one way or the other shape where the future of DB4All goes along. Some, of course, contribute more, some contribute source code, um, some are contracted, some are not. Some provide translations, others provide um, some sort of peer support in the forums. But all these makes DB4O su successful, and which is so different from other object databases which were started 10 or 15 years ago, proprietary databases, which just didn't have that user endorsements and that broad user base. Great. So, what about the project itself? Uh, what can a .NET developer do with uh, DB4O? .NET developers will find DB4O a native database to store their objects natively with one line of code. You don't need to do work in two schemas. You don't need to work in your application objects and the database schema. You don't need to translate between objects and potential relational databases. You just have an embedded persistence solution that helps you to store objects exactly the same way as you declare them in your application. And with db 4 version 6, which just got out as a beta release uh, two weeks ago on November 14th, we are now even more .NET native, um, which is a specific update from earlier versions where we had some Java-isms. Um, db 4 is actually developed in Java and also available in .NET. And what it also does, like unlike any other product, is it gives you cross-platform access to objects um, between Java and .NET. Great. So uh, one of the biggest problem of uh, object databases is performance. So uh, how fast is db 4 uh, What are the biggest databases that you have in uh, with db 4 uh, so I would disagree with you that it's one of the biggest problems. I agree with you it has been historically a problem with other vendors. With db 4 it's exactly the opposite. The object databases by definition don't have the dual schema problem. They don't have to translate objects into tables, which is by definition a more computing intense process than rather storing objects exactly the way they are in memory. So DB4O, as considered by several benchmarks, there's the open source pole position benchmark, there's for instance the traditional 007 benchmark, written in 1993, far beyond we ever started. And an independent research group at the University of Pretoria has used those historic test cases, 20 test cases, and benchmarked DB4O, the most popular object database, against Hibernate, the most popular object relational mapper in, in Java in this case, but I think it's applicable to .NET. And in 19 out of 20 of these test cases, DB4O was faster than Hibernate um, and the relational database. And in some cases, up to 55 times faster. So you're really talking not about just being faster, you talk about whether it actually works or not. And DB4O, by eliminating the object to relational transformation, which takes a lot of CPU and cost performance, helps you to be much faster. Great. So, what are the benefits of the uh, open source uh, for DB4O? Well, the benefits are for every user that uses a platform which has many other users. Because a platform, a software that has many users, usually tends to be very useful. It tends to be 
in sync with the user demands. And that's what makes DB for all as a product and DB for objects as a company really run and tick. The users are the user community, the open source community is really managing our product. They are telling us what users need and we listen to them and follow and they contribute and we follow um, what they are contributing to the platform. As a result, the product is very useful and is created in a very user-friendly and collaborative manner. There's no, there's no um, selling to users like, you should buy this, you should have this. The users tell us what we should give them and we do that. We listen to them and deliver what they want. The other benefit of open source is the fact that the model is a very global model, so you have the benefit of having the right users for the right, excuse me, the right contributors for the right problem. For instance, here in France, we have J.B. Evan, who is the author of Cecile, a bytecode analyzer, uh, who is, um, which we use at DB4O. And this person, for instance, this contributor, was the perfect person for us to work on this specific segment, so we could hire him. Traditional companies can't simply do that because they want to collocate everybody in their offices. We can hire people in their homes, no matter whether they're in Mulhouse or in Novosibirsk or in Brazil. So what?